Welcome to Hollywood Plus Designer Tutorial 1. In this first video I will go through the basics of usage of Designer. As you can see the Designer opens in Windows. To start a project we first need to create one. Right click for the project and choose new. In here you will first make the process name. This process name will reflect the home directory. You can make the author, in this case I put my name, you can also put the version of your program. In this case I put 1.0. And you can also put the copyright. And some sort describe description for yourself or someone else what your program your project is about. You will also see display mode. You can see full screen auto, full screen fake, full screen custom or window. Uh, you can try them yourself. But full screen auto basically means that it will be always using full screen and choosing automatically the size. Uh, I have myself chosen to use full screen fake, which means that it will scale the scale the full screen. If you are having trouble getting your project to work, like I was having designed a 2.1 window, is pretty good choice. It usually works, even if the rest won't. Click OK. A new project has just been made. You can see if you go to open, there is project directory here. Designer uses pages as its pages. So we will create first a new page. Click in new. And here it will show, it will ask about the page type. What this in actually means is that what, the, what will the background be? If it's blank, it's just simply one color and that's it. If it's pattern, it's same as the workbench if it's same as in the workbench environment. Picture and you will choose a background picture. Gradient is the one I am going to show now. Here you can name your page, whatever you want. It is helpful of course to put something let's put main page. The gradient start color and gradient and an angle. This angle is 360. As you can see, so you can choose anything and it will reflect started from some certain place, as you can now see. Now the light is like of coming in from here, the angle of 22. If you wish to change the background to different, you can click on this one. Let's change angle to 284 to see what it makes. Now that it's coming from here. Oh, zero. And it comes from up. These ones here are all the basic drawing tools. A brush is something we will look at later. This is animation. If you wish to play some animation, you can use this line. This is simply a line. Rectangle, circle, pie chart. I will show you the pie chart just in case. As you can see, it comes here. If you click in here, you can make it different ways and also when you click around here you can make them bigger and smaller and you can move from the middle just like any other program tool you have seen. Star is a bit different. This will give you different kinds of shapes like arrows, stars, other standard forms. This can be quite useful for many presentations. Just put it left click, push here and afterwards you can there is anywhere you like and move around. This one here will work like this. You might remember this from Deluxe Band these systems. You can make any form you like. And there it is. After you connect the dots, it will make the make the object. Text is simple. You choose text you can write in here already. This is example text. This is very much like any editor. You can change font here. Actually you can look it from here. Custom font. And style. Color everything. It's pretty self explanatory It's just experience around it. You can pretty, pretty much figure out how it works. Nothing hard here. Ah. Seems uh, actually misspelled, but it doesn't really matter. You anyway see it now. The rest of these buttons, they only work when you have chosen one of these. You can choose by clicking on the screen, or you can choose them in here. 
this one is basically the important one. You click here and you get the option for this. Now you can see this one is right now chosen. The object has now chosen to be a single color, but I can choose it to be something else. Let's take outline. You can choose a color, let's make it green. And this is about how thick the outline is. Something like two, three is basically usually the normal one. Now you can see. However, do notice that when you make an outline, it will be hard clicking here because it won't accept it from the middle anymore. It will only take from the edges. Gradient, and this is the same width to the screen. There you see. You can also get this through clicking right click and get the properties. A border. You will see soon an enable shadow. Let's make it real quick. Take this also shadow direction, let's say it's for north. And the color of the shadow can be for example red. And then click OK. This is the border, very thick border, and this is the shadow. As you can see when I move it around, it goes like this. Okay, let's go to more practical example. I will delete all these options and start from the beginning. As the first thing I'm going to well the brush, which is actually a picture, which is actually a brush. All pictures are called brush. It will ask you if you want to if you want to copy it to your project director, you should do that. Otherwise the program might not find your picture. As you can see here is now a picture of the shoes. Now I'm going back to the properties page. And here is option that no transparency. Or I can use RGB kernel or Alpha channel. For the transparency. When I choose use RGB color, I can click on the RGB color and I can click on the screen from the color I want to be transparent. Then I click OK and you can see they went to white. They went to white away. Now we'll put a couple of arrows here, just for example's sake. The first arrow will be here. Now we'll do something. For instead of creating another arrow, we first click here. Then I go away from this window, for example here. I right click, I choose edit, I choose copy. After that I left click here, I go away again, I right click, choose edit and paste. I just got another arrow. This is very useful. I will do the same again. Edit, paste. I got third arrow. However, as you can see, the auto naming is not very good. It is hard to figure out which arrow is which one. Therefore, I will double click. And I can change the name. Arrow 1. And I'm going to do the same to all the three. All three arrows. As you can see, now I have three arrows here. 